Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me again today. Today I'm going to be showing you how I turn these gel prints into cards. And some of the prints I was happy with and some of them I wasn't. So today's video is really going to show you how you can use up some of those gel prints. So first of all, I'm going to select five of them for today's video and I'm just going to cut them down. This really helps you to see the print for what it is and you can pick out the best bits that you want to keep and trim off some of the edges that maybe you're not so happy with. So some of them I'm trimming down to four and a quarter squared and others by five and a quarter squared. And then keep those scraps because you'll be able to use those in another project. Now I've got this stamp set from Funky Fossil Designs called Grow Positivity. It's by Claire Steed of Art Journal Love and it's got some great focal images that can be used on, gel, on these gel prints. So I'm going to take that large leaf stamp first of all and attach it to my acrylic block. I'm using an All and Create acrylic block and I'm using Versafine Onyx Black ink. I'm just going to pull a piece of scrap paper in so that I don't get ink all over my desk and then I'm just going to stamp that along the bottom of the gel print. I really love this stamp because it's got text detail in the leaves and so it really adds a lot of interest to a project with minimal effort. So I'm just going to re-ink the stamp up and I'm just going to add that onto the bottom of the gel print there. And then in the gaps that I've got, I'm just going to ink up the top of the leaves and just stamp a couple of those in as well. For a sentiment, I choose this Live Simply Bloom Wildly sentiment. It fits perfectly in that gap at the top and I'm just going to stamp that onto some white cardstock. And again, I'm using the Versafine Onyx Black ink. And as you can see, that stamps beautifully and there's some lovely detail in the font. You could easily add a little bit of colour in some of those gaps, but for today, I'm just leaving it plain black. So I've just trimmed it down and I just think it needs a little bit more interest. So I'm bringing in my uh, corner rounder punch and I'm just going to round the corners diagonally opposite each other. And it just adds a really nice effect to the sentiment. Next, I'm just going to use some cloud glue to adhere the gel print down to a matte layer of pink cardstock and then I'm going to attach that to the card base. The card base is uh, just under 6x6 six six, uh, and I'm just going to attach some foam pads to the back of the uh, card front and adhere that down. This just adds another little layer to a card that is relatively clean and simple in design. I'm also going to add some foam pads to the back of that sentiment and there's our first card finished for today. So the second one, I've got this Mixed Media Vibes paper pad. This is by Kim Dello, Dello Designs and uh, from Funky Fossil Designs. And there's some lovely elements within the paper pad that can easily be cut out and be used as focal points. So as you can see, these lovely fern leaves, I'm going to fussy cut a couple of those out. And I'm going to use them on this background that I've got here. I think the pink matches perfectly with the pink in the gel print layer. And then I've already got a little sentiment from my stash that just says thank you, that was already on a banner die, so I've, I'm going to use that for this card too. I'm using some Ranger Multimedia Matte, uh, just because this glue adheres really well to the acrylic paint that's been used uh, from the gel print. And then on the other fern layer, I'm just going to pop that up on some foam tape, or some foam pads. Don't be afraid to trim your foam pads down using scissors if you um, need some slightly smaller pieces. Uh, I frequently do that all the time. So once you're happy that you've covered the back with enough foam tape, I'm just going to adhere that down there. And then I'm just going to add the sentiment in again using the Ranger Multimedia Matte Glue. So next I'm going to bring in my Tim Holtz scissors and these are the long bladed ones and I'm just going to trim off the excess of that fern there. And then that helps me get a really nice straight line when you cut from the back. So I'm just going to mat this onto the card base there. And then there's our second card finished for today. So onto the third card. Now this gel print, I kind of liked the pink and black grungy look, but it wasn't the most pretty uh, gel print. So I'm going to use this Twin Blooms, Blooms stamp set, also by Dello Designs. And I've got some opaque bright white regular embossing powder from WOW. And I'm just stamping in the Versamark embossing ink and I'm stamping this onto smooth black cardstock. Uh, the cardstock is from Pink Frog and uh, you can get that from Craft Stash. I will leave some links in the description box below. So once I've inked up some flowers, some leaves, it is a little bit hard to see on the camera, but I'm just going to cover it in white embossing powder now. 
I'm just using some scrap paper to um, put the excess back into the bottle uh, and then I can just ensure that I've covered all of those areas with the embossing powder. So I've heated up my heat tool. Uh, this is the Sizzix heat tool. I did previously have a WOW one. Um, I'm, I would say both are equally good. They've both got the jaw uh, heat setting. And I'm just using my cutter B scissors to fussy cut around each of those elements. So all I'm doing is turning the paper as I cut with the scissors. This makes it really easy to fussy cut. And these shapes are really easy to fussy cut around as well. There's no really small details. So that makes it a little bit easier. So next, I've got a, a matte layer in black cardstock, and I'm just going to adhere the gel print down using Ranger Multimedia Matte Glue. And then once I'm happy that that's stuck down, I'm then going to bring in all these fussy cut elements. And I'm just working out my placement there. I did want to use both of those large flowers, but I decided to just go with the one in the end. So I'm just going to glue those smaller flowers down and the leaves. And again, I'm using the Ranger Multimedia Matte Glue. And then I'm going to use the large flower in the centre. I'm going to add some foam pads to the back of it so that that's popped up and it just gives it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm just going to glue those leaves down uh, again underneath there. For the sentiment, I use the word bloom from the stamp set and I'm just going to trim that down using the long bladed Tim Holtz scissors. And again, just add a little bit of foam on the back of that and then mount that onto the card base. The card base is five by five for this one. And there's the finished card. I really like how this one turned out. I think the black and white elements really pop against the gel press background. So for the fourth one, I've got this gel print. I really wasn't happy with how this one turned out. Uh, so I've got a little bit of a scrap of um, cardstock from the Mixed Media Vibes paper pad. And I'm using this stamp set again uh, from Art General Love. And I'm just going to ink this up with VersaFine Onyx Black ink and stamp it onto the pattern paper. This is a great way of using up some scraps of pattern paper that you might have. And it's relatively easy to fussy cut this out. Again, I'm using my Cutter B scissors uh, to gently fussy cut around this image. And I try and get it as close to the black line as I can, but leaving a small border. And then once that's fussy cut out, um, I'm just deciding on placement. I choose to use the sentiment. Um, from the Art Journal of Stamp Set, which says keep growing, keep going, keep growing. Now, I stamp it directly onto the um, gel printed background. I'm really not happy with it at all. So I decided that I'm going to use the sentiment as to add some more interest to that gel print because it is quite, um, quite messy and not very, not a very good image. So I just rotate the stamp, fill in the background and then I decide to use the same sentiment stamp onto some black cardstock. And I'm going to use the opaque white super fine this time just to capture all the detail on the sentiment. And once I heat set that, uh, you can then see how it can be trimmed down easily again using the long bladed scissors. And then it really just pops on that gel printed background. Um, and I really think that makes it stand out. I decided to add a matte layer in like a lilac purple cardstock. This was just a scrap that I had in my stash. And I'm just going to add some multimedia matte glue to the back of that until that's adhered down. I then add some foam pads to the back of the sentiment and mount that in the top right hand corner. And then I also add some foam pads to the back of the leaves. Again, I'm using my scissors just to trim down some of those foam pads so that they fit. And then once I've removed all the uh, back in I can then just stick that down onto the card panel. I wasn't sure whether to use a 6x6 card base or a 5x5 here I wasn't sure if I wanted the wider white border but I do decide to go with a smaller one in the end and I just added some cloud glue to the back of that. So there's our fourth card finished for today. So on to the fifth gel print. Now I left this purpley bit at the bottom but I decided I just wanted it to be green and I've got this scrap again from the mixed media vibes paper pad and I kind of am getting the vibe that it could be like the bottom of the ocean. Uh, so I add a little bit of multimedia matte and I layer that down. And I'm thinking about still going with this sea theme vibe. So I use this fern that I'd got left over. I then just trim off the excess of the um, card panel so that I can just get a better feel for layout. And as you can see, I'm really unsure where I'm going with this. I add some of these um, dots from uh, one of these stamp sets by Dello Designs because uh, I'm thinking, oh, it could look like sea bubbles and then I add that fern back in and I'm, I'm just really not happy with it. So I'm going to show you how I fixed this because I did toy with the idea of throwing it away and starting again. 
And the first thing I did is just covered up those dots with some washi tape. Uh, again, it was from the Mixed Media Vibes collection from Funky Fossil. And I cover up those spl splodges. It matches perfectly with this fern. So I get that adhered down. I then decide I'm going to turn it into a very kind of mixed media art kind of style card. And I use this sentiment from the uh, Dello Design stamp set, which says make art every day. And I think it, this kind of suits it very nicely. Uh, I white heat emboss it on black cardstock. I just trim it down with the long bladed scissors and I trim off the excess from that firm. I did add some splatters earlier, sorry, with the Posca pen. And then I just go in with a black pen and just add some doodles along the border, kind of like a rough stitched kind of edge. I add some multimedia matte to the back of that sentiment and adhere that down. And I then decide to mat it onto a black piece of cardstock. Um, so then I kind of quite like how this looks. And I decide I'm going to mount it on some foam tape and I'm going to add it to a six by six card blank. And that way it's got a really nice white border around the outside of it. And you've got like a really kind of mixed media vibe style card. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video today. Um, I really hope that you have enjoyed seeing ways that you can use up your gel prints. I'm just going to show you each of the cards that we've made again today. And I will add some close up photos at the end of this video. Please don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it and please let me know in the comments below which one of these is your favourite, whether you'd give this a go and whether you've perhaps tried gel printing but not always been sure what to do with the prints that you created. So thank you so much for joining me today and please don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.